But there was one thing that I did in middle school that I thought would be very forward thinking, especially given today's current economic climate. Uh, of course, I'm talking about my Beanie Baby collection, yeah. which I just found, yeah. which I just found. And, and according to the 1998 Beanie Baby Handbook, <laughs> yes, I own one. Yes. I'm currently sitting on about uh, $75,000 right now. <laughs> Apparently. Do you remember how big those things were? Beanie Babies? They all had these cute names like Gobbles and Magic, which I'm convinced were just there to distract you from the fact that you just bought a $40 bag of rice. <laughs> I was the biggest Beanie Baby collector. Like, I was the big, like, my dad would take me to Beanie Baby conventions. And the reason for this is clearly because I was gay until last week. I would go to these Beanie Baby conventions. You would want the, the, the oldest Beanie Babies because those were the rarest ones. You know, and I remember, I remember having a great find one time at a Beanie Baby convention. It was this black bear Beanie Baby. And I could tell it was old, because its name was Negro. And <laughs> it was, its, its name was Negro. And instead of a little poem in the heart, it was just the lyrics to Old Man River. That was what was strange about that. <laughs>